Hello guys, this is Valentin and I've been catching some Pokemon in London today and I want to share with you what I got. So, as you see from the map, I took a walk around Canning Town, that's a station in East London, and I did a full circle, I walked for about one hour, did like four and a half kilometers, and for half of my journey there was nothing. There were no Pokemons, no Pokemon stops, no nothing, just like construction sites and construction builders who were looking at me strangely and they're like, what the hell are you doing, there's no Pokemon in here. So. Anyway, it was it was too productive one though because I got a Haunter, I got a Jinx and some other Pokemon I didn't have before and I actually leveled up so I'm level 6 now, that's that's not a big deal but I've only been playing for a couple of days so I expect some more progress in the next few days. So let's 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 take a look at what I got. The, the first one I got was a Jinx and uh, to be honest she's rather useless. I can't evolve her so I can't get too much experience from her and I powered her up like three times and she was originally at 38 or something like that, combat power and she's now at 93, so 93 is not too bad. For those of you who don't know, you use you need combat power on your Pokemons when you're trying to take over gym. So when you go and fight with other Pokemon, it depends on your combat power, how how likely are you to win. So anyway, this the, the Jinx alright, she was a new one so no worries. Uh, the next one I got is a Jigglypuff, yay! So Jigglypuff is quite strong, as it, as it is, it's 8 and 9 combat power and she can be powered up from here on, so she might, she might be one of the better Pokemons I have, and she's cute as hell, yeah, she's, it's a very cute Pokemon. Anyway, that, moving on, there, there were some Pidgeys, I have, I have like 5 Pidgeys right now, and they just, you find them everywhere in London, so I'm not gonna go over those, the stronger one I got was the one with the 7 to 1 combat power, so not, not too bad. And the next one I got is a Spearow. I have like, as you can see, I have 9 Spearows and I haven't been playing all that much. So I, I can imagine how many of those you get. That's the strongest one I've got so far. It's uh, combat power 61, so I'm quite happy. And uh, moving on, I got a Caterpie. Caterpie? Caterpie, yeah. And I've got one which is 50 combat power, that's 5 times as strong as my other one. So it, that, that was quite that was quite nice, and I can power this guy up and make him stronger, and then evolve him eventually. Uh, the, the next one that, that was actually the big deal of the day. I got a Haunter. I have no idea how I got him because he had this red ring around him, and that means it's hard for you to catch or something. I spent like twenty Pokeballs on him. I I threw like five, which missed him, and then he escaped like seven times, and then I missed him again and again and again. And I was just about to give up, and then I got him. I was super excited, yeah, I, I was very happy about this. And there were some other people around me who were trying to get him as well, so we, we all shared we all shared the excitement. Yeah, the next one was Odish. That, that was actually where I leveled up, so after getting the Honder, I became level 6. Yay! And uh, Odish I got, that, that, he, he's rather strong as well. He's 103 combat power, and the Honder was like... Yeah, he was like 174. That I think that's the strongest Pokemon I have right now. So he's gonna be the one I'm gonna use in combat. Uh, after that, I got a Kakuna, but she's only 28 combat power, so she's absolutely useless for now. Not powering up this one. And next one is Nidoran. It's female or something, that sign. That, that, that looks rather nice. 96 combat power is good, especially given up that I can power, power her up more and get her stronger. Getting some battles, yeah. And the last one should be uh, there should be a Stario somewhere. Let's go. Yeah, that's the Stario. It's quite a weak one. It's only 38 combat power, but it's it's a nice one. I remember this one from the movies I watched. I and yeah, that's, that's rather good. R right after I got my Spiro, yeah, I think it was right after I got the Spiro. I was crossing the road and I crossed the road and I found a Squirtle but I couldn't get him. So basically I threw a ball at him and it uh, it blinked once, twice, three times. Uh, he didn't run away and then my phone froze. So this stupid application just froze. So I missed him. I was, I was so angry about it. And there was this guy standing next to me and he was with his girlfriend and she was getting worked up because he was just like, okay, wh one more go, one more go. I, ca I can't leave a Squirtle behind. And finally he got him, so he was super happy, he was super excited about it. And his girlfriend was like, okay, let's, let's go now. So they, they started going, and then 10 minutes later, no, like 10 meters later, he, he stopped again, because he found like a 
Ratata or something. I have no idea. But she just started laughing. She she wasn't even angry. She was just like, okay, I can't I can't even be angry for that. So yeah, that was, that was quite nice. It, it was a rather nice journey today. So well, walked a lot. I'll probably be walking a lot more tomorrow and the days after because I want to get some rare Pokemons. I got tons of eggs as well. I have like six eggs now. I have no idea how rare those are, so I don't know. And I have two of them incubating. They're both two kilometer ones. And for all those who don't know, you get you find eggs on Pokemon stops. And then you can put the eggs in incubators. And as you walk around, you have to walk a certain distance and then the egg hatch, egg hatches. So when it hatches, you get some Pokemon. And obviously the greater the distance, the rarer the Pokemon. So those two kilometer eggs would probably be some simple stuff like Rats Tower Spiro. But I have some five kilometer ones for later on. So that's, that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna be hatching those two tomorrow and I'm gonna record everything so you, you guys can see. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all for now. I have 55 Pokemon and I think I have like 20 something unique ones. So it's, it's, not, a big quest, it's not a big collection, but it's gonna get expanded in the future. I'll, I'll try and keep a map of all the Pokemon I find on my journey, so you can you can see in the next videos. And that, that's it. That's it really for now. So thank you very much for joining in. Thank you very much for watching this. If you like this, if you like Pokemon Go, don't forget to subscribe so you get all my new videos. I'll be playing loads of Pokemon Go and some Clash Royale as well and some other games. If you have any comments or any ideas, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. Also rate and share with your friends and that's it. Just have a lovely day. Thank you very much guys. See you next time.